is up guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of downhill spy due to coronavirus all the races has been delayed or cancelled but we're back this weekend we are at the check downhill cup in klinovac earlier today we did course inspection <laughs> And now practice is on. Yep. A little midday update was struggling a lot with the bike at the beginning some of the front end right now it's much better really liking how the bike works at the moment and by the way look at this view we don't have this in the netherlands unfortunately but really liking how it goes right now and uh yeah see you guys later Today it's Sunday and that means it's race day. This year's bike setup has some slightly big changes compared to last year. I switched from 650B to the 29er wheels. This means the whole geometry has to be changed and a lot of changes have been made to the bike to fit the 29er wheels. I'm really thankful Canyon Collective TV gave me the opportunity to ride with this setup. So far it has been very pleasing for me. This morning I did a couple of runs to get my lines dialed in, get a feel of the track and get ready for the small final. Just did my quality run, rolled pretty easy, just smooth everywhere and yeah, pretty clean. Got P8, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Just gonna ride smart, very cool that I can ride with the GoPro here. So I can show you my final run. Hope you guys enjoy it. So here we are, final run of the day. Pretty firing out of the gate. It was pretty windy on top, so I had to speed tuck a little bit. The stop part was really fast. Pretty nice bike parky turns over here. Trying to keep a balance between speed and good line choice. into this little forest section over here got it pretty good in practice and nailed it in my race run I knew I was a little uncomfortable in this section so I had to get just through it as fast as possible out of the forest we go into the open section big rock garden coming up with a little gap and a big impact right here onto the first road we go very dusty over here with some loose rocks and here's the new section they built this year it's very loamy but I liked it a lot got pretty clean through here little offline right there but it's all good really hated this section and as you can tell wasn't really that clean but it's all right onto the second road we go into these really rough bike parky turns was a little slow on this part and I probably lost some time here but it's all right for my first race 
Little gap right there. Felt really, really clean through here. Don't know why I looked over, but <laughs> it's alright. Very loose over here, and I slid out a little bit against that tree. Big impact and really dusty turns. Roller coaster right here. And out of the forest we are. And then we are on the motorway right here. Really, really fast with some jumps. Whoa, was very close to that tree actually. Speed tucking my way on the motorway, going about 70 kilometers an hour. Really, really fast. Don't want to make any mistakes right here. Big rock garden coming up. Got to slow down a little bit. So it got pretty clean through here. Couple pedal strokes and we're on again. Into the last part before the rock garden. Trying to keep my speed up for this little uphill what's coming. So pedaling hard here onto the big rock garden. Nail that section and now speed tucking my way to the finish line trying to sustain as much speed as possible went a little deep on that jump last two corners easy to make a mistake in this last rocky turn and sprint that was a run and it was a p7 so not too bad for uh, my first race back pretty pleased with my starting point and uh, yeah we will build from here I guess